So we saved a bunch of just the fat trimmings to mix in with our wild game um, burger meat. We did 40 pounds of venison meat and 12 pounds of the pork fat. So that is the ratio that we're doing here. And then we have an awesome new vacuum sealer that we just got. That is a game changer. This thing's going to keep the meat going to keep the meat as fresh as possible, which this is a huge investment of time and energy. And if you're going to put it in the freezer, you want to make sure that it is protected and it's going to keep for your family. So our new vacuum sealer is by Avid Armor and they sell the vacuum seal bags also. Um, this is an American made company and we are super excited to be using their products now. All right, so I am using the eight by 10 bags and I'm just gonna put a pound of ground venison and pork in each bag. We're gonna get an assembly line going here because it's gonna take a minute. A lot, a lot of meat. I like to fold the tops over so that it keeps the outside of the top clean. Cause I'm weird like that, but that's why the bags are folded like this. You don't necessarily have to do it. Just make it easier, I think. This is our new USV 32 model by Avid Armor. This is a chamber vacuum sealer. If you had not heard of a chamber vacuum sealer until now, you're not alone. I had not until we got this machine, but we do so much vacuum sealing and we're vacuum sealing large amounts of meat to put in the deep freezer. So having a good vacuum and seal is very important to us. Uh, so visually the difference here is you're vacuum sealing your item inside of this chamber instead of from the outside. So you won't be able to do a large item like a turkey or a whole chicken but this is great for like we're doing uh, pound packs of ground meat right now. So you're gonna position your bag in here. Just like that. Hit the auto vacuum seal. And it's gonna get to work. So this model also has a uh, exterior vacuum sealing option for jars, which is really cool. I did not actually know that you could vacuum seal jars as well. And with all of the dry storage that I like to do in mason jars, I'm really excited to utilize that function on here. And the, it's also really good with uh, marinades and liquids. And the chamber vacuum sealer, it, it just, it's a higher level of vacuum pressure and it results in a more thorough removal of air, which gives it a superior seal as well. So it's just gonna take all of the air out of there. Bam. So now it just sucks all the air out really quickly and then it's gonna seal. We're good to go. So before I freeze it, I'm just gonna get it the shape that I want to have it. When you're doing ground products like this, it's nice to have it nice and flat and then you can fit a lot stacked on top of each other in the freezer. And we're going to continue and do the rest of this ground meat that we have. So finished product of all of the vent ground venison that we just did. We've got 35 one pound packs and four two pound packs. So all together, we've got 39 meals for our family. I'm not going to talk about 
how much money this is going to save us because last time I talked about price, everyone freaked out. It's obvious that we all spend different amounts of money in different parts of the country, but it's 39 meals that I can uh, pull out of the freezer for my family and we will save money on that.